hey guys welcome back so today's video is all going to be about on how to stop purchasing new things so i know i have talked about this in the past couple videos of mine but i figured that i would make a whole video dedicated to this topic since i do get asked this question a lot so without further ado let's just get straight on into the video all right you guys so the first thing when it comes to stop purchasing new things that you really don't need is to set priorities when it comes to walking into a store and seeing something that you do want but you don't need when it comes to setting priorities you have to take in consideration of your bills what you actually need for the house not what you want and also you need to think is this worth my hard-earned money so once when you set your priorities straight such as a bill list see what you haven't paid see what you can pay off such as student loans or even put more money to your mortgage see what's going to benefit you more than an actual little thing so when you walk into a store next time think of your priority list think of all right if i wanted to purchase this decor item from home goods is this a priority or should that $45 go towards my light bill or my rent or my mortgage or even my student loan or if you want to really get technical and put it into your priorities a Roth account I know a lot of you guys um, said you didn't know what Roth was it's basically or like a retirement fund um, just another form of a retirement fund um, so instead of spending that $45 on a pillow that you probably don't need and you already have a bunch of pillows back at home just think of that priority list that's what gets me every time back in the day when i first started out this whole minimalist journey i would go into the stores and i would think like all right no i want to move out of my mom's house i don't want to purchase this new lip gloss why do i need that when i have like probably 10 at home nope i'm good my hard earned money is going to go to something that's going to benefit me more than just a little thing that's really gonna just probably sit in my drawer or sit around the house. The next thing is to keep your eyes on the prize. I know it's silly to say, but this is something that I did for years. When I was living back home with my mom, my little eyes on the prize was to move out. I kept that apartment like little situation in my head all the time. It wasn't me stressing out about it, it was just me realizing and thinking like all right this is what i'm working for and this is what is going to happen i'm not going to let anything get in the way i'm not going to let my thoughts where it's like oh let's just go grab some new makeup because back in the day i was really into makeup and i would just switch that off i'd be like nope that's gonna set me back actually so my eyes on the prize even if it's getting like closer and closer I'm gonna be set back 20 steps if I purchase a lipstick or anything like that. Most of the times we buy things without intentions. We just go out and purchase things that we don't need because we're either bored, sad, or don't know what to do with our money because it's burning a hole in our pockets. And that's where we all get in trouble. So you have to think of what is more valuable to you. Is it more valuable where you can pay off your student loan or do you want to use that money to purchase a pair, new pair of shoes? It's like, what's going to benefit you more? A new pair of shoes or paying off that student loan? Once when I got my apartment, my new little eyes on the prize thing was a new vehicle because the one that I had, the Volkswagen, was basically on its way out. If you guys remember my old videos, um, the transmission was going and I was like, all right. I'm gonna try my best to save just like I did for the apartment. But basically, to sum it all up, I just kept my eyes on the prize. I didn't let anything get in the way. I didn't let those little thoughts in my head like, all right, you should go to the store, Kiara. You haven't gone in the store in a while. You deserve a new lipstick or you deserve to go out to eat. And I would like switch it off and clean to distract my mind because like I said before, if I was to go out to eat or go spend that money i would be like 40 steps behind so just don't do it it's like stealing from yourself basically next thing to do when you are trying not to purchase new things is to plan when you are planning say you are planning out you know what you are going to do like your steps okay like this month i'm going to save this amount and i'm going to do it this way that's like your guide that's your whole little map for the month that's going to keep you on track i plan everything i plan my videos out on a piece of paper like a little script um i plan like our grocery list i plan literally every little thing that's going to make my life 
easier and the best thing about planning is that it can go with anything plan what you want to really accomplish that month have it plastered like on your wall on your laptop on your phone sometimes i would have a list of what i wanted to accomplish as the background on my phone and i would look at it every time i went on my phone obviously we we are like glued to our phones nowadays so every time i would like go in my phone I seen what I really want to accomplish that month and if I didn't accomplish you know one or two of those goals then I would be like all right what did I do wrong I would go back and see like what I spent my money on that was not good what I did wrong when you are planning you kind of have a little cheat sheet to each month it's going to help you out so much I know it's helped me out with everything. It keeps me in line. I think everyone has their own ways of making like a little plan sheet. So, but once when you are done creating that little plan, take a picture of it, put it as your phone background. I know it's not gonna look aesthetically pleasing, but it's going to help you out. This one is not ideal and I know it's different. That's why I added it on the list, but this is what helps me out too. And that is to distract yourself. Like I said before, if you have the urge to want to go out to the store just because you are bored in bed and there's nothing to watch on Netflix and there's no one to talk to. The best thing that you can do for yourself so you don't spend your money or basically waste your time in stores is to distract yourself declutter your room that you've been putting off. If your room is already immaculate, then maybe pick up a new hobby to distract yourself. Maybe pick up journaling, write down your thoughts. I know it sounds so silly with me saying this and you guys are probably like, really Kira? But it works, trust me. I was that person where I would get so bored and go to CVS and I would purchase a bag filled with like lipstick and just stupid makeup that I didn't need. I spent like I want to say each time that I was bored, when I was like around 21, 22, I spent around like probably $100 a month on unnecessary items when I was bored. And those are the things that cost more when you feel bored is that you just keep buying and buying because when you purchase new things like that, they don't fulfill anything. They're just, you're trying to fulfill a need that doesn't need to be filled if that makes any sense. I'm like horrible explaining this one um, because you just have to try it yourself. But as for me, like what I did to distract myself when it came to me having that urge to go out at night was to listen to either like ASMR videos so I can like try to just get to sleep, um, watch old movies that I loved and I forgot about. Like I think I watched I Know What You Did Last Summer at least 20 times and I just I love that movie and I would just keep watching it trying to keep my mind off from going to the store um, I would clean I would clean under the bed because I always hated cleaning under the bed still do just like little things like that I would actually like organize my mom's bathroom I would go into the bathroom late at night and just organize all of the medications again just trying to convince my mind that I don't need to go out there to buy something to make me happy. To buy something that's just gonna end up in my drawer later on. So I think out of this whole list, distracting yourself is probably going to help you out the most. And this is something that you're not gonna pick up right away. It took me like months to pick this one up. So yeah, it takes time. So do not beat yourself up over it. If, if one day it just didn't work out, just try again the next day. The same thing as working out. If you work out for a whole week and then you give up like, for one day and you're like, oh, I'm not doing this anymore. Pick it back up the next day. It's well worth distracting yourself instead of going out there and purchasing things and doing things that you really shouldn't be doing. Next one is obvious. And again, I have talked about this in probably all of my videos and that is to just take a social media break. Um, but now there's a ton of ads. If you look on your feed, it'll be like two pictures of like someone that you're following and then the bottom will be an ad. And then it'll be another picture of someone you're following and then another ad. It's like crazy. It's like filled with ads. And the thing with social media now is it is a huge outlet. And it's really bad if you have a shopping problem because you are one click away from ordering everything. I know this is easy said than done, especially when you have a lot of friends and you love being on social media and sharing your life and stuff. I get it. But if you have a shopping problem and you want to stop buying new things, social media could be your main culprit. Only because of the fact that 
you see what others have more and makes and it, it definitely makes you want it more and i'm not just talking about instagram i'm also talking about youtube yes youtube even though it's my job but i do want to say delete youtube as well as much as it is my job the best thing to do is take a break from all of it basically detach yourself from the the social media world just for a little bit so you can break that habit so yes i'm being genuine if youtube is a big issue delete it don't worry you guys i will be here next month the month after i will still be making videos so if you have a shopping problem just take a little break and the last thing that i want to talk about is to do the math. What I mean by do the math is if you make $12 an hour, this is just an example. I know each state and each country is different with what they make an hour, but say you make $12 an hour and you are in the mall with your friends, you're having fun and there is a shirt that is $50 and you're like, oh, I want it. Your friends are saying, yes, that will look so cute on you, even though you really don't need it. Um, but you're out and about and you feel the need to, and you feel that urge to buy something you make $12 an hour The shirt is $50 that shirt. That's $50 is going to take you four hours at work to make $50 To buy that shirt. So when you're at work for four hours I don't know about you But when I was at my old job just four hours that was like in the morning So that four, that whole four hours of me doing dishes for the breakfast time was to pay for one shirt and I just felt like that hard work that I just did, scrubbing all those pans, putting everything away, and then gonna redo it again at lunch, that, that is not worth the $50 for that shirt. Now, if it was better material, and if you needed the shirt, then maybe you can compromise. But it's fast fashion, and also, you didn't need it. You don't need shirts, so why waste the four hours that you worked really hard for making that $50, why spend it that way? Anyways, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to take this in, get a little bit more in depth for you guys because I get this question probably at least 10 times a week from you guys on Instagram where it's like, Kira, how did you stop going into the store and buying things that you don't need? How do you stop buying new things? It's so hard. and. These are the steps that I have taken to stop buying new things. So on that note, you guys, I will catch you in the next video. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet.